Since 2011, the filmmakers at Illustra Media and the John 1010 Project have produced a series of documentaries that explore the biology and behaviors of extraordinary wildlife. Each film is a celebration of God's creative power and a call to embrace the wonder and awe life on Earth continually inspires. Today, the journey continues, this time on the proverbial road less traveled, where the spotlight will shine on organisms that are routinely misunderstood, unappreciated, or purposely avoided altogether. Yet, despite these familiar apprehensions, the creatures you're about to encounter are superbly designed to engineer structures so remarkable they're admired and studied by scientists throughout the world. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't even consider clicking away to another channel. Just give these eight-legged architects six minutes and you'll be cheering for their uncanny abilities. Are you ready? Here we go. More than 46,000 species of spiders inhabit the Earth, and many of them build webs. Their talents are instinctive, and their materials are all homemade. Let's take a closer look at the machinery and skills spiders use to manufacture silk strands that are stronger than steel and more durable than the fibers used in a bulletproof vest. Inside the abdomen of an orb weaver, a system of glands produce and store the chemical gels required to make several types of silk, including the non-adhesive radial strands that define the web's framework and the sticky silk used to trap insects. Specialized threads are also produced to wrap up captured prey and form nests that protect hundreds of spider eggs. And when conditions are right, spiders can cast out a stream of silk that catches the wind like a sail and carries them away on journeys that can span a few feet or hundreds of miles. In addition to its array of silk glands, every spider is also equipped with special organs called spinnerets. These cone-shaped factories contain an array of microscopic spigots each designed to shape one of the variety of strands required for survival. The spigots control the precise thickness and adhesive qualities of the silk. And as gel-like streams of liquid proteins move through these nozzles, they harden into solid fibers. Spider silk is at least five times stronger than steel of the same diameter and elastic enough to stretch four times its original length without breaking. If one strand was long enough to circle the Earth, a distance of almost 25,000 miles, it would weigh less than a plate of spaghetti. One orb weaver can spin the silk and assemble a web several feet in diameter in less than an hour. This is all very impressive, but our exploration is just warming up. Let's now take a more detailed look at how they build their webs. The structure of an orb web includes four basic components, the frame, the spokes, the capture spiral, and the hub. The process of their assembly is swift and effective. Construction often begins when the spider releases a long, thick strand of silk that's carried by a breeze to an anchor point where it's securely attached by a strong adhesive. Then, our acrobatic technician crawls back to the center, quickly manufactures a drag line, and descends to the ground where it tugs the strands into a tight, Y-shaped formation. Next, the structure is filled in with a network of radial threads. The tension of each new strand is carefully adjusted to precise specifications. 
Every spoke is positioned at a consistent 15 degree angle from those on either side. When the basic framework is complete, it's time to install the capture spiral. This is a high risk job where every movement the spider makes must be perfect. Using its rear legs, the spider carefully pulls highly adhesive silk threads from its spinnerets and attaches the lines to the existing framework without getting trapped in its own creation. This meticulous process results in a strong, flexible inward spiral that is ideal for trapping insects. In the center of the web, the orb weaver leaves a hub or free zone, an area without adhesive threads. It's a no-stick island that allows the spider to quickly move from the top of the web to the underside as it waits for its prey. There are hundreds of connection points in the completed web, and the water-resistant glue that binds them takes only a fraction of a second to dry. That's faster than any adhesive human chemists have devised. The entire process is a masterful demonstration of purpose, design, and architectural genius that's often achieved in almost total darkness. On a planet where webs and their builders are feared and avoided, there is a deeper truth that their story inspires. For like every living thing, spiders are wonders of creation, conceived in the mind of God to serve as vital components in the delicate balance of life on Earth. And if we take the time to really study and appreciate the precision and sophistication of their biology, the inspired words of the psalmist will speak to us loud and clear. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures.